Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite, favorite makeup items, glosses. When I was putting together this video, I didn't even have to think twice, okay? I was like pulling out my faves like second nature because these are the glosses that really have everything, everything that I want and more. It's as simple as that. I've got some old favorites that you guys have definitely heard me talk about before and I have some new favorites that I don't think I've even ever mentioned on my channels. I would love if you guys could let me know your thoughts on the glosses that I'm gonna be talking about today and of course, let me know some of your favorites as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to join the fam. Without further ado, let's get into these glosses, shall we? So I laid out all these seven glosses in the order of pigment, okay? So I'm going from a clear gloss, essentially, to the most pigmented gloss that I have here. So let's get started with the gloss that has absolutely zero pigment, so the clear gloss. This is actually the newest gloss in my life. This is the M Cosmetics Morning Dew, AKA my new favorite. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. This is a clear gloss, and when I first saw this product, I wasn't blown away by it. I was like, oh, it's a clear gloss. But then I put it on my lips and my mind was literally blown. The consistency of this gloss, like the best way to describe it is that it's pillowy. So when you apply it to your lips, it kind of dispenses like a somewhat thick, pillowy layer of gloss onto your lip. It glides over any fine lines that you may have on your lips and because of that, it makes your lips look incredibly full and glossy and juicy. Stickiness factor is a zero. It is not sticky at all. It feels super comfortable and very gel-like on the lips. Besides all of that, the smell is majestic. It's like sweet vanilla cake. Clear gloss is also probably one of the most versatile glosses that you can get because you could literally layer this on top of anything, whether it's a really light nude or a super dark, deep purple, you can put this on top and it's going to work so you don't need like a specific color gloss for a specific colored lipstick you know you could really use it with anything so if you're looking to get one gloss for your collection let it be a clear one because it's just going to be the most versatile for you which is great i feel like the clear gloss is the underdog and i'm here to put it back up on the pedestal you know i'm here to hype it up because it it, it should be hyped because it's so Freaking nice. So next up we have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Now this is kind of like a step up from the clear gloss. These Lip Glowy Balms have a little bit of a tint to them. I have all the shades of these come in and I have them in every single one of my bags because they're definitely the ones that I reach for the most day to day. The reason why I do love these so much is because they have such a nice wearable tint to them. So I don't feel like I need to be wearing a full face of makeup to have to put these on. Like something that I'm wearing right now, it's like a nude gloss which is actually one that I'm gonna talk about in a couple glosses from now. I wouldn't wear this if I was wearing absolutely no makeup, you know, because I feel like it would look a little bit off. But something like this, I could wear whether or not I'm wearing a full face or no makeup at all. And it's just gonna add a little bit of life to my lips and also a lot of really nice gloss. These are also probably the most hydrating out of all the glosses that I'm gonna be talking about today. And that's because they are from Laneige, which is a skincare brand, and they are meant to be hydrating lip balms pretty much that are just glossy. So like I said, they do have a few different shades slash flavors. My two favorites are definitely berry and grapefruit. Berry is probably my number one. It's also the one that I feel like is the most tinted of the bunch. And they also smell fantastic. They smell like like whatever fruit they're named after. So berry smells pretty much like berry and grapefruit smells, yeah, exactly like grapefruit. And then there's pear, which smells exactly like pears. Oh my God, do you guys remember the gloss? What was it called? Was it called like the Juicy Tube or something like that? I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna let Editing Jamie fact check that. Editing Jamie here, that is correct. They were called the Juicy Tubes and they were from Lancome and they actually still exist but they've been around forever and they're very, very fruity and very reminiscent of the Laneige ones. It totally reminds me of these, but these are like the updated, better, modern version, you know? This gloss definitely wins the award of being the best day-to-day easy gloss just to like throw on no matter what you're doing. So now for number three, we're gonna talk about a sparkly gloss. Now, not everybody loves a sparkly gloss, but for me, I feel like a sparkly gloss just adds so much dimension to the lips. When it's done right, a sparkly gloss could just be so mesmerizing on the lips. And that's literally what happened to me when I discovered this particular gloss. And so my favorite sparkly gloss is by far Buxom Celeste. Now, I actually discovered this gloss um, on somebody else. <laughs> so I may or may not have been creepily staring at a girl who was sitting next to me at an event, okay? She was applying her lip gloss to her lips and her lips looked so beautiful and I looked like the biggest creep because I was pretty much just mesmerized by her lips. So I stopped her mid-application and I was like, please do me a favor. 
tell me what you're putting on your lips right now. And she told me that it was Buxom Celeste and the next day I purchased it. So the reason why I feel like this particular sparkly gloss is so beautiful is because the sparkles that are in here are super, super fine. This is not a chunky, gritty, sparkly gloss. The sparkles that are in here are also all different colors. You have like purple and blue and pink and gold. So there are a bunch of different shades in here. And I feel like because it's such fine sparkle and also because there's so many different colors, it creates such a beautiful dimensional sparkly look on the lips. Now there are glosses that work well either on their own or layered on top of a lipstick or they can do both. For me personally, I actually feel like you get the most out of this lipstick when you layer it on top of a nude. You wear it by itself, it looks really pretty, but because there's really no color to it, I feel like it really benefits from having just a base layer of color underneath. I feel like it just makes it pop almost. So this is definitely a gloss that I would suggest layering rather than just wearing on its own. Even though you totally can and I do it actually all the time, I just think it looks the best layered. As for the scent, it smells like vanilla peppermint like every other Buxom gloss. And as far as the stickiness factor, it's definitely not not sticky. There's a little bit of tack to it for sure. It's not as smooth and creamy as these two guys, but um, it's not uncomfortable at all. But there is a little bit of stickiness to it. I would say it's like a three on 10. So next, moving on to another old favorite. Now, if I did not talk about this gloss in this video, it would be a problem, okay? It is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I feel like this is the gloss that really kind of changed everything for me. Before trying this gloss, I wasn't a huge gloss wearer, like I enjoyed it, but I wasn't an avid fan. After trying the Gloss Bomb from Fenty, it kind of showed me what gloss can do and it really changed my mind. <laughs> the color of this lip gloss is probably one of the most universally flattering lip colors. It works so well and looks so beautiful on pretty much every single skin tone that I've seen it on. And I'm talking about, by the way, the original color. And I think because the opacity of this gloss is just right, like it gives just the perfect amount of tint to the lips where it will add a little bit of color, but it's not overpowering or overwhelming whatsoever. There's also like the teeniest little bit of gold shimmer in here, which is so, so pretty. It's barely even noticeable, but I feel like that little subtlety is what really like takes the look of this lip gloss to the next level And I feel like it just makes the lips look so Juicy because of it. The scent is also delicious. It kind of smells a little bit like candy, which is super nice And again, the texture is not sticky at all to me The original Fenty gloss bomb is probably one of the best kind of like everyday lip colors because it's going to be one of those colors That's just gonna liven up your natural lip color. It's very much your lips, but better um, It's gonna give a beautiful shine and it's just gonna go with anything whether or not you're wearing like a Super light look or something really smoky. This is going to work. So next up we have a gloss from Nude Sticks. This is the Lip Glass Day in the shade Nude 02, which is definitely my favorite shade in the lineup. I really don't want to be a broken record and start to repeat the same adjectives over and over and over again, so I'm going to keep this really nice and simple. So Nude Sticks is known for like their everyday makeup makeup products, so all of their products really do have that in mind. So it kind of makes a lot of sense that their gloss is really perfect for every day. All of the shades in this lineup have like that perfect amount of tint to it where it kind of just adds a nice wash of color to the lips. I also find this formula to be really nice and hydrating. It feels really good on the lips and it also smells delish. It smells like peppermint. This is considered to be a plumping lip gloss. I don't necessarily feel like it actually makes my lips look larger. Like it doesn't tingle or anything when I apply it to the lips, but because it does have kind of like a gel-like consistency, similar to a lot of the other ones that I just spoke about, it really just does a good job of kind of giving the illusion of like a fuller looking lip because it just sits right on top of the lip and kind of glazes over. Also, if you are a fan of pinky nudes as much as I am, Nude Zero Two is like the perfect, perfect nude pink gloss. So next, it's finally time to talk about the gloss that I've been wearing on my lips throughout the whole entire video. This is the Hourglass Unreal Gloss in the shade Childs. Now, I am so happy that Hourglass decided to revamp their lip gloss formula because their old lip gloss formula just really wasn't great. I, I remember them being just a little bit streaky and they just didn't really do it for me. These glosses though are like the biggest upgrade. This shade is absolutely stunning. By far, probably one of my top three favorite nude lip glosses. It's like that perfect peachy, pinky nude. And it's really difficult to get a really light nude right in a gloss because often if the nude is too light, 
in a gloss formula it's just gonna go on streaky and it's not gonna look smooth these apply though like butter and I also want to say that I feel like the applicator has a lot to do with it the applicator is very unlike most lip gloss applicators it's kind of flat and rounded and I feel like because of this flat surface when you apply it to the lips it really just smooths everything so evenly and like I said pigment and glosses can get a little bit tricky they'll sometimes look really gloopy or they'll be really streaky and just not you know look right on the lips they have such a lightweight formula that they just work there's no goopiness there's no streakiness they just glide on with literally zero issues it's exactly how you would want a pigment and gloss to perform on my lips right now I only have this gloss I don't have any lipstick layered underneath so you could totally see how just even it looks which is exactly what you want all right last but not least we have a drugstore gloss that I really wanted to mention this is one of my favorites it's from wet n wild and it is the mega last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick in the shade said nudes this is another one that I've definitely mentioned on my channel before I would say this is probably the most similar to like the hourglass gloss the difference though is that the hourglass gloss is a little bit more lightweight and like gel like whereas the wet and wild gloss has more of like a creamier consistency hi it's try on Jamie here I kind of wanted to interject because I realized that I didn't mention something about this lip gloss that I feel like is important to kind of say when you apply this lip gloss it literally is almost as if you applied a lipstick and then put a lip gloss on top it's also not quite as glossy as the other glosses that I've showed you guys but it still gives such a pretty effect to the lips what I love so much about this gloss, honestly, is the color. I feel like it's just such a great nude that layers so well with so many different lipsticks and lip liners. It's just a very versatile gloss. The undertone is pretty neutral and it's not too, too light. It's also not too, too dark. It's kind of just that perfect in between. So yeah, super simple. That's all I really got to say about this guy. So guys, that is it for today's gloss centered video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know down below in the comments some of your favorite glosses and also let me know your thoughts on the glosses that I spoke about today. Do you like them as much as I do let me know down below of course give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one bye